Hi, my name's John Hood and I'm a tax partner at Moore Kingston Smith and I specialise in resolving uh, tax disputes and voluntary disclosures to HMRC. Uh, today I'm going to talk briefly about uh, the letters HMRC have been sending out to people concerning their uh, overseas assets and their UK tax position. The purpose of these letters is to encourage people to check that their tax affairs are up to date um, and if there is a problem, um, the letters um, say there are three options um, as to what you can do. You can confirm your tax affairs are in order. You can say that uh, you'll contact the HMRC or you can complete what they call the Worldwide Disclosure Facility, which is uh, an online facility to, to make a digital disclosure to HMRC of the tax it's owed. So um, the reason for these letters is that HMRC have received a vast amount of information over the last uh, two or three years um, under the common reporting standard and that's basically information which is automatically exchanged with the UK each year from nearly 100 jurisdictions. Now how do they find out about your details? Obviously if you open a, a, a financial uh, account or make investments they would normally ask you where your tax resident nowadays and that information is used to report to HMRC, the UK uh, tax authority, that uh, there are assets overseas. HMRC does look at this information and does try to check whether or not um, people have reported their overseas income and gains. If that information is unclear or, or HMRC considers there might be a risk that not all the tax has been paid on time, they will write to you and they and the common route is this nudge letter or to encourage you to review your tax position. Now, one of the things that you're asked to do is to sign a certificate to say whether or not your tax affairs are up to date or you're going to make a disclosure. Um, it's important that you consider that certificate very carefully. Um, the, the normal advice is not to sign anything unless you absolutely have to. Now, it's important to remember that these letters have been sent out to encourage people to check their tax affairs. It's not a statutory obligation to respond, um, but, but it is important, obviously, that you check to make sure everything is okay. So if you do get a letter, and it does refer to over, uh, overseas assets and information, it will be from the common reporting standard normally, um, and it will uh, uh, they will have details, HMRC, of the um, uh, uh, it, balance on the account, and then transactions which may have taken place. So that's what they've used to decide whether or not they need to check with you that your tax affairs are in order. So um, if you do have a problem and there is tax owed, then the thing to do is to uh, go to a professional tax advisor and check to make sure uh, if there is a tax liability due or not. Now, the UK tax system is one of the most complex in the world, so there may be um, reasons that you've uh, that there isn't any more tax to pay. It may be that you can use certain exemptions or claims to your advantage, but the important thing is to seek advice to make sure everything is correct, or if there is any tax to pay, that you uh, use the appropriate uh, route to sort your tax affairs out. Um, now, a qu common question I'm asked is, well, if this isn't a, a statutory requirement to comply, do I need to respond? Well, yes, we think it's really important that you do that. Otherwise, HMRC may uh, then go and start a tax investigation into your tax affairs, and that's quite a long, drawn-out process, and it's quite stressful for you. So the best thing to do would be to speak with HMRC. Um, the letters normally um, go into uh, the type of information that uh, they would re require. And they also ask about, um, uh, the, or sorry, comment on the tax penalty position. And they do talk about the penalties uh, for individuals with overseas assets, which can be very high. Now, it can be a maximum of 200%, and HMRC say the minimum is 100%. Now, there, there are ways to minimise your exposure to penalties, and that's another good reason why you should get expert advice to make sure that you get this right first time. If you do decide to um, deal with it yourself, then you know it, there are a number of obstacles you need to overcome, 
you know, how many years do you need to report, for example? Uh, that's a very common question. Well, yes, I have had, uh, uh, I have um, possessed assets outside the UK, financial assets which have generated income, but how far back do I need to go? Do I need to go back one year? Do I need to go back four years? Do I need to go back 20 years? That's a really important point to consider. So that's why it's really important that you get specialist device to make sure that it's dealt with properly and, and, and everything is resolved in, in, a, in a tax efficient way. The other important thing to remember is that, you know, um, tax professionals will allow, uh, help you to deal with the matter efficiently and effectively, and they will minimize your exposure. This doesn't mean that, you know, you wouldn't have to pay the tax that's due, but what they will make sure is that, you know, any disclosure fits the, um, within the legislation and that you are reporting everything you need to report so you can get this resolved as quickly as possible. Um, one final point to make is that, you know, we uh, at Moore Kinson Smith have a great history of resolving these types of matters for clients. We specialise in dealing with uh, tax dispute resolution and also voluntary disclosures to HMRC, which is what this is. Um, we also have a very uh, good knowledge of the worldwide disclosure facility and basically we can act as an umbrella and deal with everything for you uh, so if you were to engage with us um, we're very happy to have an initial call with you to talk about your particular situation including what the potential costs would be so I do hope that you know if after watching this uh, short video if you have any questions please contact us um, we're very happy to talk to you in the first instance to let you know what our, our views would be on what you need to do and um, what your potential liabilities would be in the costs um, and, and then you can make an informed decision as to how you want to move forward. So thank you very much for listening and I hope we can speak soon. Thanks a lot.